The article hashtag no homo, man hugs, bitch niggas, etc. was written by Rhodes University journalism student Jason Olafir. There are a lot of things around masculinity that makes it a quite complex subject. I don't think that there's one specific type of masculinity and I don't think that society actually recognizes that there's a diversity of masculinities out here. Yeah. As I mentioned in my article, the ideal man is the strong man um, who does not show emotion. The one who's strong, the one who is the leader. It's um, physical attributes even. Like, um, you should not be like, for example, um, I look at myself as a very small man, like, <laughs> honestly. And um, obviously, like, society sees, would in this case, see a more buff, muscular man as more of a man than they would see me. When I grew up, um, I was very different, honestly, from other boys. And I was pressured to play sport, and I had no interest in sport whatsoever. So I went to trial for like an under nine rugby thingy, and I didn't make it. My father was disappointed. And um, I felt like such a mess. I felt like I was not good enough. So in order for me to, I had to be tough. I had to be um, strong. I had, I had to be like the other boys who were like fast runners, who were... Um, more men than I was, and that my, that's my earliest memory, actually, that I was pressured to get into rugby, and when I didn't, I was seen as weak and I wasn't seen as the normal boy. I think society's ideal male is a heterosexual, cis, white male. No, 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 don't leave this about me. Although Sheldon is comfortable with his own identity, this is not the case for all in modern society. One of my friends, someone that I, I thought was a good friend of mine, and he said, if I had a son and he was gay, I would beat him until he becomes a man. And it broke my heart because for me, that said to me that, you know, his perceptions of what a man is and his perceptions of what a homosexual man is were so different. I remember when I was a minor and I was speaking to people that um, drink alcohol, for example. My aunt was speaking to me about, because I was like, oh my word, what is that that you're having? I feel like, it was a, I think it was a cider. And she was explaining to me that no, that's, that's, that's for women. And, and that men drink beer. And for me, I, I didn't understand it because I was like, but what if I want a cider? In a way, in a way, Gender is an act. You get told that men have to act this way, they have to be butch, they have to play rugby, and women have to do this and they have to be ladylike and they have to do all of these things. And as soon as you fall outside of that, that gets shame. <laughs>